Hey there guys, girls, goblins and other nasties. And today we're going to continue on from where we left before, where we became a death collector for Emerald Vale. And today we're going to... Well, I'm, I'm here back at the ship, because that's the only point where we can save. Uh, but we're going to go do the resistance, like to fight the automatons, or however they're called, uh, given to us by Ludwig Miller. So we're going to do with that, and hopefully not die. Though knowing me, probably, probably gonna die a painful death. We still yet to deal with those old bloody troll things to to the down there. Uh, I'll wait till we level up a bit more. Who knows? It might contain some some treasures. Doubtful, doubtful. But hey, what can you get from bad? What can you expect from bad neighbors? Is that an enemy? Yes, yeah, an enemy. I actually want to try out this um, laser pistol. Should be would be nice. Sneaky, sneaky. Because we. Oh. Well, I don't like returning. So. <laughs> Handles really nicely. Probably gonna be my go to. <gasps> oh, hi. Oh, no, 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 Well, that's what? One or the other. <laughs> um, I think we should do more for health and stuff. That'd be nice. Um, for the time being, I think there's gonna be we're gonna use a lot of uh, companions when we get them. Uh, dialogue. But, well, the dialogue is quite good in this game so far. I uh, don't really dodge or block. Um, sneak a lot more than I really should. <laughs> it invites me to do bad things, which is gonna end up getting me in trouble more than I like. Uh, but hey, we learn through mistakes. Um, Okay, do more tech. Okay, uh, apply. Uh, do we have perks on us, on us right now? Or no, no perks available. But yeah. Uh, continue on the road to Ludwig. It's not far. But yeah, uh, yeah, trying to survive in this world. I didn't intend this kind of playthrough. I thought I was going to be be the hero again. Yeah. But hey, things change. Wait, what is it? Even the quest anyway. Uh, is that by the community center? Where's the map? Uh, is it? No, I just think it's. I don't know. But yeah, it's worth a check out. Is there more that Mark can talk with Silas about? But where's Silas? There we go. Something I can do for you? I'm uh, just wondering. Got a question for you. Yeah. No, I don't. <laughs> you know, I, 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 I like to like, probably try that one time in real life. Before we get punched, though. Uh, I just go up to a random person and just say, Hi, I've got a question for you. They just stare at stare at them blankly and as they move away. <laughs> That'd be funny. Fabulous Fraser. Oh yeah, I, I discovered what the what the Varis Militude means. Yes, I know. I mean, it has an appearance of being true, but I can't remember the context of what I wanted to know it for. 
So uh, I think I think it was probably one of these banner things. So that kind of makes sense. The appearance of being true. I think that's m most advertisements nowadays, or every day, all the time. The appearance. I don't know. Um, but yeah. Uh, there's a word I'm going to probably use more often than not. Why is it telling me to go back? Hi. Oh yeah, can I... Wait, wait. Keep your distance, friend. Where's the store? No place for a traveler. What, what? Caesar's choice takes care of its own. Okay, I'm going, I'm going to, you know, get infected. Ah, there. I appreciate the company and all, but you really ought to leave. You don't want to be seen around me. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, why not? Because I'm sick. You don't want to associate with people in the sick house. We're not worth your time. Uh, I'm in about as much trouble as I can be. No reason you ought to be tarnished by association. People are going to talk. I let them talk. Why? What's going on here? Figured it was obvious. I got sick. Couldn't get better on my own. Got moved here for everyone's sake. Maybe you don't know this, but there's a real simple reason you don't talk to the plagued. You don't want what we've got. I've got some training. I could take a look at you. Don't. Please. I could get into a lot of trouble. More than... You... you what kind of trouble? People trouble. Lazy worker like me getting special treatment from some out-of-town physiker like you? People will talk. Company always tells us weak spirits lead to weak bodies. If I didn't want to fall sick with plague, maybe I should have worked harder. Maybe I should have taken more pride in my work. That's ridiculous. You can't blame yourself because you feel ill. I really wish you wouldn't say those sorts of things. But I told you once already. People could be listening. I'm feeling a touch faint. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone for a spell. Okay, I'll leave you be. I really don't like this. I had the idea of that, anyway. Just like saying, it's your fault for banging. Well, kind of, it would be your fault, but I don't know. Okay. The ladder would be up here. Um. Can I kill these rats? Yeah. I like killing rats. Okay. Die! Pest control! Never you mind. Worry. Because you never know these are these rats? Sprats. No, you never know these ra these sprats could be the cause of all this. Yeah. I'm probably doing a service. Okay. This pro this one's probably overkill. I know how to use this. Don't worry. I won't kill you like a Killed that guy at the shop. Can't remember his name. There it comes to me. Probably comes to me. Uh, you don't mind if I take this, right? Yeah, you don't mind. Want a sprat? Ooh. Hi there. Wait. Should not have done that. Should not have done that. I thought these guys were dead. Okay. I thought they were dead. Then the question of why I would shoot a dead person. Ho! Oh, I knew I was gonna cause my trouble and end right now. Oh dear. Friends. 
Friends! Okay, friends. See, we're friends. No, I hope we're not friends. Okay. Run, 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 run. Occupied! How, how, how about we not do that again? That was, um... Note to self. Don't shoot dead people. Whack well, maybe. Don't shoot them. Unless you... A pillow. You know, yeah. That ended well. So well. Um. Yeah. Where are we? Okay, we need to head back in. Yeah, I'm gonna talk to. I'm gonna talk to that girl again. You know, get that XP for medical stuff. <sighs> Don't kill the dead person. That's not thing I'm not gonna do. A ment pillar. That looks so beautiful. God. Mm. That is a big big stomach. How many lungs does that thing have? Howdy. Sick house is no place for a traveler. I'm a wanderer, not a traveler. Hi there. I appreciate the company and all, but you really ought to leave. You don't want to be seen around me. Why not? Because I'm sick. You don't want to associate with people in the sick house. We're not worth your time. I'm in about as much trouble as I can be. No reason you ought to be tarnished by association. People are gonna talk. People talk all the time. It's just what they do. Just figured it was obvious. Focus on your thoughts. I got sick. Couldn't get better on my own. Got moved here for everyone's sake. Maybe you don't know this, but there's a real simple reason you don't talk to the plagued. You don't want what we got. I've got some training. I could take a look at you. Don't. Please. I could get into a lot of trouble. Okay, but... What kind of trouble? People trouble. Lazy worker like me getting special treatment from some out-of-town physiker like you. People will talk. Company always tells us weak spirits lead to weak bodies. If I didn't want to fall sick with plague, maybe I should have worked harder. Maybe I should have taken more pride in my work. That's ridiculous. You, you can't blame yourself because you fell sick. I really wish you wouldn't say those sorts of things. I told you once already. People could be listening. I'm feeling a touch faint. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone for a spell. <sighs> I'll leave you be. You don't remember what happened last time, right? That's fine. I blame the sprats. Like, it, it obviously, obviously was the sprats that caused all the damage, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. They, they, they infected my mind, my cognitive thinking. It was a, they killed me. Hi. That was a dead person. Give me my water. I'm gonna take everything I can. Oh, I missed you. Can I wear this? Oh, I'm gonna wear you. 
I'm gonna weigh you so hard. <laughs> yeah. Now my outfit's complete. Look at my hat. Um, can I sleep here? No. Cause I'm, I'm getting a bit tired. Uh, I can probably find a bed I can use later. I ain't gonna shoot you. Nope. No sorry. No nope, at all. Oh, I let the sprats out. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. Sorry. Uh, sorry. It was me. It was me. <laughs> sorry. Oh, hi, comrade. What can I do for you? Um, I've got some questions Go for you. Go ahead. I told you. I'm told Eugene killed himself. What happened? Eugene was not a suicide. He put a bullet in his brain, yes, but that's largely a technicality. I was the one who prepared Eugene's body for interment. I discovered symptoms of the plague on his corpse, and I discovered medicine in his pocket. Lots of medicine. Eugene overdosed on Adrena time, which is known to cause psychosis and paranoia as possible side effects. The paranoia drove him to take his own life. That's... So the town never had to pay a penalty. Pen we can all thank our lucky stars that young Eugene was hopped up on medication and suffered its predictable side effect. I included it all in my official report. I'd like to think I saved Edgewater a great deal of money. We never could have paid the fines associated with a suicide. Hmm. Okay. Still doesn't feel right. By the way, while they're dealing with the rat infestation, I'm gonna have another, have another little look around. Yeah, I could. I've, should we talk? No, Topsum is this actually a main quest. Oh yeah, we need to actually talk with um, what's his face. No, not what's his face. Um, die robot. Ludwig reports that he spotted. Okay, so I'm actually telling me to go back back here. So yeah, well, I'll go back here. Might auto, auto save so. Over here. Uh, nothing important. Hello. Try to hide from me. Can I have your hat? Examine. Anna, your mother passed away from the plague. She wasn't chosen to receive medical treatment and failed to recover on her own. I found a site near the ocean to bury her. I know it's company policy to have her buried in the graveyard, but I just can't afford the fees. I'm heading out after dark to put her to rest, saying my final goodbyes and all. I know it's dangerous to go out alone, but at night, but I have to, ch I have to chance it. And if you're reading this, then I want you to know that your mother was a good person. Don't blame f blame her for what happened. She worked as hard as she could. It just wasn't hard enough in the end. Love, Dad. How did you die? Did you die of the plague as well? Cause sure, if you're a loving father, so you definitely wouldn't kill yourself for the fees. Would be exponential. Is that the right word? Probably not. Uh, but yeah. Boom. Uh, actually, where where I want to see if they actually replace the dead body. Is that, is that, no, that's the canteen. Where's the, where's their 
Where's the shop? Been eating nothing but salt tuna for a year. Nothing I can do about that. That's Martin. Um, where is the shop? <laughs> Hi. Oh yeah, you're her. Somebody's been running around town raving about a colony ship. Plague must have gone into their brain matter. Wasn't me. What do you do oh, here? Oh, I'm an actuary. That means I keep tabs on a worker's living expenses. How much it costs to feed, clothe, shelter, bury, and replace your average human worker. Technically, I'm employed by the Spacer's Choice Department of Human Resources. I'll leave you be. Because I, I think if, if, if they don't, don't actually, actually uh, replace the, you know, the general store guy, then I may have made a, made a big and grave mistake ki uh, killing him. Yeah, I made a mistake killing him, you know. Sorry. Yeah, I've made a terrible mistake. Yeah. Oh, that is a that's a regret. Well, with any luck, I won't be coming back to Edgewater anytime soon. Um, saves me money. And maybe nothing else. Uh, but, but yeah. That's a lesson for for the next time. Don't kill general store clerks. Inside the walls today. Nothing for us outside those walls. You ought to know that. You kill the rats. Cool. Wasn't me. But yeah, uh, we're gonna finish off probably the. The different um, robots that Ludwig has said. Uh, then we will end the episode there. Or well, at least get to the area. I'm probably gonna. Do nah, nah. Ha ha have some confidence. Have some confidence. I am not gonna die. I'm gonna. Some confidence. Okay, okay. Uh, da -da -da. We still have yet to go to community center for some reason. Uh, I think Martin wanted us to go there for drugs or something. And we have a choice of doing it to Miss the Miss Burke, I think, the, the, the actuary we just spoke to. Uh, she wants the drugs, which could give us more more money, which could be nice. You never know, money is also very dandy. And no, 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 no. Wait, wait, Spraxo! I didn't know they were deadly! Oh, I am not gonna die by a rat. I am not gonna die by a rat. close to dying <laughs> but we won't talk about that I can probably just sell the hide you know where the other one go there we go um. need to get some more lock picks Okay. Personal files. Space's choice property. Ideas for Saltuna light taglines. Melts on your fork, not in your mouth. Less fat with Saltuna, Saltuna flavors. It's brine time. I like that one. Now with the satisfying crunch of cartilage. Uh, mm -hmm. You can't spell Saltuna without salt. Note, also can't spell Saltuna without ants. Potential to market toward families? Leading scientist says it's still food. 
The Sautuna will thank you. Warning, may cause auditory hallucinations. Okay, uh, I may try that. Return to route. Messages. To R. Thompson. Reed Thompson. From L. Gibbs, Marketing Division. To Reed Thompson. Excellent, excellent news. Hey boss, I just want to check up on the new Sautuna Light project. I've been brainstorming some new taglines for the product line. Product line, and I think some of them will be will really catch the, our customers' attention. From Rob Th Reed Thompson, dear Lawrence, I appreciate your hard work on behalf of our beloved brand of Saltuna. I've just received a, a response from corporate; they are not interested in your ideas idea of a light version of Saltuna brand, because we'd rather not compete with ourselves. But they are interested in in the idea of a lighter Saltuna. What? Well, they, but they are interested in the idea of a lighter sound tuner. Effectively, immediately, we have been instructed to use heavier weighted cans so we can uh, can pack them with oh, pack them with less sound tuner, thereby saving bits to every can. That is, that uh, botical. This is exactly the kind of breakthrough a cannery needs. In fact, our log logistics department has just confirmed my request to have you transferred from the marketing division to, ca to the canner cannery. Can you imagine, Lawrence? You'll be rubbing elbows with your fellow workers on the canning line, filling each slightly heavier can with a slightly less saltuna, hour after hour, day after day. This is a great and tremendous honour for you and for me. Effectively, immediately, your uh, your position in our marketing division has been terminated. I expect you to report to your f to our foreman tomorrow morning. Your uniform will be de deducted from your pay. Okay, unlocks the second story balcony. Yay! That poor guy. <laughs> he has some really nice taglines. Maybe I should kill Reed. That'd be nice. That. Okay, some skin turf safe. Um, take that. Make a pad. Uh, glad that they still have that. Don't know how effective. Oh, pop watch. Is that like a special item? Like a unique item for a quest or something? Oh, but does that take take light ammo or is it specific to specific ammo? Check. Um yeah, like so I'll probably switch over. How do I Still working things out. There we go. Nice little revolver for me. Uh, also, I think that's a store there. So I'll probably use that and sell some things. Um, vending machines. Vending machines have a variety of items to purchase, mostly from one company. A hack skill with twin. Oh, really? Can I? So I can't sell things here. Can I? Do I? Do I? Okay. Mm, don't use that. Don't use that. Uh, maybe. Don't use that. Uh, well, I won't use it anymore. Um. Oh yeah, well, that's what I want. Uh, so be in that general, right? Oh, uh, mag. Can I not buy it? Uh, restricted. You cannot purchase this. Rest oh my! Come on. Just let me just buy, buy it. One. Okay. Uh, what can I buy? Um. Ooh. Some armor. Ok, 
I guess it's just junk. Okay, I don't think there's anything else we can take. There we go. Frame rate. Well, we check out that this building here been been probably head off. Okay. I think that's a, a, a actually a community sense. There's probably going to be a lot of marauders there, so I'm going to try to take a pass. I mean, this is where the robots are. Yeah. Hi! Friendly? Searching for repair bay? Error. Navigation systems failed. Unable to comply. Hmm. Uh, I don't have engineering. I probably should have. Uh, are you damaged? Damage to navigation systems detected. Attempting to return to designated repair bay. Error. Navigation systems failed. This is a junkyard, not a repair bay. Navigation systems have determined this location as Spacer's Choice. Designated mechanical repair bay. Attempting to misdirect or confuse a Spacer's Choice mechanical no. is a punishable offense. Please report yourself to your supervisor. Oh, I don't have this. So, you know what? Uh, I bet if I try that, I'm gonna die. Um, let me just check over here. Might, might be some. I don't, I don't know if they actually have magazines that boost skills temporarily. Frozen dinner. How lovely. Um, no, guess I'm. Guess I'm just had to kind of kill the thing. Fine. Warning: damaging company property will result in deducted pay. already so now we just got returned to Ludwig then um, get our reward um, from there uh, I think we just end the episode there then we see about uh, getting the drugs for Martin or what's the face I don't know That's probably what, what strikes my fancy Howdy. Bring us honor, soldier. You won't have to worry about that scout anymore. You beat that scout to scrap with its own legs? Pulled its optic cables out its head case? Sure. Accident, don't tell me. Rather use my imagination. Yeah. You're a passing fair soldier, I will confess. But you are one. And the enemy is legion. What, what you need is an equalizer. A weapon to strike fear in their cold okay, mechanical hearts. This. Cantina, lavatory, behind one of the toilets. That's where I've kept it hidden all these years. You hid your secret weapon in a, in a lavatory. Sharp, ain't it? The lavatory is the very last place a mechanical has need to enter. Uh, I'll let you know if I find it. On the double soldier. 
Don't want the bartender poking around in there with a mop. Yeah, I'll le let you be. Okay, so we head into the toilets for Mr. Ludwig. With the Ruth Bellaway as Halcyon Helen, Spencer Woolrich as Chief of the Savages, featuring real monsters from the Doom world. Yeah. Would be fun to visit. Earth Dick Directorate was formed after the Great War to arbit arbitrate international and inter intercorporate disputes. During the 23rd century, the skip drive was invented, sparking another space race as corporate began. Corporations began exploring and claiming purchasing light stuff. Howdy. Uh, I don't see any more sprats, so that's a good sign. Hello. Oh, the toilets. You know. Sealed bundle. Se find Lugwood's secret weapon. Uh, do I have to go back to him? Yeah, turn to Lugwood. <laughs> Manti Queen ex examined. Are they eggs? Or Still, wouldn't like to meet that in the dark alley. Hello. Best way to destroy this town. No, I'm thinking about it. Ow. Hi there. Bring us honor, soldier. I found that package you mentioned. Feast your eyes, soldier. This here is a genuine Spacer's Choice Injury Customizing Unit. Designed to deliver a lethal blast of electrical discharge. I call it the Hand of the Law. You ever want to see a mechanical flailing around like a grounded fish? You stick a couple thousand bolts in its guts. With compliments from old Ludwig. Sounds like fun. How do I use this injury customizing unit? There's a workbench right through this door. Attach that unit to your favorite weapon and go forth into glorious battle. Time's come for you to journey down into the black heart of the enemy's camp. I'm talking about the old geothermal plant. Unfortunately, okay. the old plant lies outside my board given jurisdiction. You'll need to get a passcode from the boss, Reed Thompson. Okay, okay. Uh, dumb. I get it. You want me to go undercover. Oh, I get it. You want me to go undercover as a mechanical. Learn their ways. You got pluck, kid. But no. Can't risk having you go native. I need you to get us the brain of a mechanical. Well, not exactly a brain. Anatomically speaking, what we're looking for is a logic module. How am I supposed to get one of these logic modules? There's the rub. If a mechanical breaks down, the logic module fries. So you can't rip one out of its corpse. You're gonna have to find an intact model somehow. What are you planning? Don't tell anyone, alright? 
Secret is a I've word. I've got a contact. A real expert in the inner workings of the automaton. We are going to rip those mechanical secrets right out of their circuits. The edge was Edgewater is in the middle of nowhere. You don't have a contact. Well, excuse me. What I meant was I'm going to get a contact. I didn't know I had to be all prissy about my grammar around you. Yeah. Seems simple enough. If you die horribly, I will pour out a can of zero G to your memory. I uh, thank you, sir. Didn't want that. Bring us honor, soldier. What would happen if I killed you? I'm sorry. Just thinking out loud. <laughs> Imagine if you heard me. But anyway, um, we're gonna finish off this episode for now. Uh, then continue on with it like speak to Reed Thompson Thompson but yeah hope you enjoyed and speak to see you in the next one cheerio